Her name might not ring a bell, but her face sure does. Gail O'Grady gained fame and married with children, NYPD Blue, and on Broadway in Greece. Sounds like getting married six times helped O'Grady go places, right? Also, only a tiny percentage of people that watch my videos are subscribed. So if you end up liking this video, consider subscribing. It's free, and you can always change your mind. Enjoy the video. How did Gail O'Grady become famous in the first place? The actress was born on January 23, 1963 in Detroit, Michigan. Throughout her life, Gail O'Grady had tried a lot of career paths. Believe it or not, she had worked 12 different jobs. She's been a photographer's assistant, a waitress, a fashion show designer, a fashion editor, a jewelry designer, and an actress. Gail O'Grady began her career when she was 12, appearing working as a waitress. But when it comes to family, she has stated that her parents are divorced. Her father, Jim O'Grady, is a financial planner. Her mother, Jane O'Grady, is a homemaker. O'Grady attended Northwestern University, graduating in 1989. While at Northwestern, she was a cheerleader for the football team and was named a Playboy All-American in 1990, one of only two cheerleaders in the 1990 class. So, you can kind of imagine she was the it girl before even becoming famous. O'Grady was then discovered in the modeling industry by a commercial photographer who asked her to be a model for an ad campaign. She at first declined, but the photographs were so beautiful that she decided to be photographed again and became a model. But it was actually Kevin Nealon who helped her rise to fame. O'Grady was 18 when Nealon, then 29, introduced her to comedy. She worked as a receptionist at a comedy club in San Francisco, and Nealon was a regular there. The pair started chatting, and as you can imagine, they were obsessed with each other. At first, O'Grady was intimidated by Nealon, who guests on late-night talk shows and hosts his own cable talk show, The Kevin Nealon Show. But she said she never wanted to be around that, thinking that it would get on Nealon's bad side. However, Nealon eventually invited O'Grady over. This gave her a significant boost in entering the entertainment industry. She first appeared on the television sitcom Nealon in the 1993, and he played her love interest in the 1995 film The Other Guys. In 1997, Gail appeared in the television sitcom George Lopez, is a neighborhood waitress, Jenny, and on the ABC's The View, a talk show for daytime television where she discussed her weight and, due to this, she was nicknamed The Big Al. In 2004, O'Grady participated in the Fox Broadcasting Company reality television show The Biggest Loser and had 5.6 pounds lost out of a total of 30.2 pounds lost. In September 2004, O'Grady was cast in the television series Four Queens, and in 2005, she appeared as herself in a segment of the MTV show Punked, where her only clothing items were a pair of underwear and socks. A year later, O'Grady returned to The Biggest Loser as a series regular and even guest starred on an episode of the television series Veronica Mars, where she played herself. In 2010, she starred in the television movie The Nanny Diaries and appeared in the television movie The Other Guys. In the movie, O'Grady plays the love interest of Will Ferrell's character, which certainly makes her stand out for most television actresses. But her acting career doesn't stretch much beyond that. Gail also appeared alongside Ferrell, Jay Moore, and Adam McKay in Anchorman as Pam, the receptionist at the New York Observer, and played an expectant mother in the television sitcom The Larry Sanders Show. But was she really getting married to famous men to become famous herself? Gail O'Grady's name is familiar to most people because she's been married six times. But her husbands are household names and sometimes quite notorious. Gail O'Grady was married to film producer Scott Rosenberg. She said she wanted to make movies so bad she was willing to marry a producer. And that's how much passion and commitment she had for film. So, she married Scott Rosenberg, who ran his home production company. But when they married in 1990, it was only the beginning of their troubles. After 21 years of marriage, they divorced. And in the summer of 2011, O'Grady sued Rosenberg for $1 billion. Rosenberg countersued, claiming they were divorced by mutual consent. They've been arguing about the divorce ever since. The sum Rosenberg is suing for includes $6.5 million. He also said he even paid O'Grady to keep their divorce quiet. She knew how much money I had, he said. I was trying to keep this divorce private. It was a big secret. O'Grady says Rosenberg forced her into the divorce by constantly attacking her behavior, spending thousands of dollars a month on private investigators, and hiring lawyers to threaten her at every turn. At one point, she recalls, 
Rosenberg told her, I don't like you very much. I don't like the way you dress. I don't like the way you act. O'Grady also said that Rosenberg had affairs with other women. She revealed he was unfaithful to her during their 2008-2009 cruise around the world. Another one of her famous marriages was with actor Steve Fenton in 1995. They met at a cocktail party. Gail wasn't looking, but Steve sure was. They ran into each other again, and within a few days they were married. Gail was delighted. She was attracted to Steve, and she thought a marriage between the two would be wonderful. But the two were a match made in a nightmare. They disagreed about almost everything, and the differences made it impossible for them to live as a married couple. It was obvious to Fenton that their disagreement was fundamental. He decided to talk to Gail about this, and she told him, well, that's what marriage is, isn't it? But Fenton then said, if two people disagree on almost everything, aren't they supposed to end up divorced? So, of course, the marriage ended less than a year later. This divorce, however, wouldn't stop Gail from rushing into marriage again. The final divorce of Gail O'Grady was with John Stamakis, and it proved a useful lesson for her, and that is never to rush into marriage. The couple married after three months of dating in 2004, but had been married before, but each believed they had finally found the right person, but they sure didn't. The two met briefly back in 1984 when Gail was 28 and John was 29. Gail had been a Hollywood actress, but years earlier she decided to take a break from acting, invested in real estate, and divorced five times. John had been working as a scriptwriter, but years earlier he quit his job, invested in real estate, and divorced. It seemed like they had a lot in common. In the mid-1980s, the real estate boom was in full swing, and Gail and John bought some property. They both made money, but it was enough only to make each of them miserable. Even though they had three children, they drifted apart and after four years, they cut ties. These marriages are hardly the only aspect of Gail O'Grady's life that has attracted notice. She has been arrested for shoplifting, charged with theft, grand larceny, and criminal possession of stolen property. The charges were dismissed, but the incident sure did ruin her image. So, was Gail really that talented, or did she just fool us all? Let me know in the comments section and check out the following videos in this series.